Hey guys, RC here. Just getting back home from the Phoenix on Westheimer down here in Houston. And uh, we had another uh, Leeds United Americas get together for the Houston group and watched the Leeds Man City game today, uh, representing my, uh, my new kit that just came in a couple of days ago. Uh, ordered the away kit uh, the day it came out. Uh, so very, very happy. So uh, a 1-1 draw today. Very, very pleased with that result. I was kind of looking at, I said last week, if we could pull four points from our next three matches, which is Man City, in two weeks we play Wolves, and then we play Aston Villa. If we can pull four points from those three games, I think we'll have done well. This was a match I was not expecting points from. For the second match in a row, we have uh, seen a better defense from our side, a defense that we were accustomed to seeing last year in the championship, uh, one of the most stingy defenses in the top leagues in Europe, to be fair. So that's good news that we can take a, a club. You know, in Man City, kind of in, in, in a rut of form, to be fair, lost 5-2 to two to Leicester City last week. But still, they're Man City. Gee whiz. But uh, Raheem Sterling put them up one nothing. He had a great move on goal. And honestly, I thought we were looking outclassed in the early minute, it, probably the first 25 minutes. In fact, I was sitting there going, wow, we're at the 25-minute mark, and I don't think I've heard the announcer mention Calvin Phillips one time. They really shut down our midfield, forced us to play longer balls over the top. And, um, yeah, it was just, you know, very frustrating. Uh, but, you know, we came into it late, you know, in the second half of that first – second portion of that first half. Uh, looked like we belonged. And then uh, we got a huge goal from Rodrigo. He came on. Uh, at halftime, so early minutes for him. Uh, he got a uh, he got a rebound off the keeper, off of a corner kick, put it in the net. He looked really poised on the goal. I was really happy to see that, and he showed some of the skill and poise uh, in a pressure situation, uh, in a crowd, in the box uh, that you would expect from a starting number nine for Spain. Uh, you know, arguably the best, you know, the best or one of the best national teams in the world. So uh, he got his first goal for Leeds United since uh, signing here over the summer. And he has looked much better every single game. So that's definitely a good feeling. We got the equalizer and I think we had Man City on their heels on several occasions in the second half. Patrick Bamford, should have probably scored a goal on a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, played it right in, he played it low, but right into the keeper. So that was disappointing. Uh, Robin Koch basically was a non, you know, not non-factor is not the word I'm looking for, but he was so solid you never heard his name and you never really thought about him. He was just there and did his job and really didn't let anybody through. So he looks like he's coming into form. So our two big signings, you know, I think really playing some big roles. Uh, I think Urente was on the bench today but did not make his debut. Uh, Jan Paveda, he looked impressive on the wing. He showed some pace and some ball handling ability. I think we missed Harrison a lot, but of course Harrison couldn't play today because he is on loan at Leeds from Man City, so can't play according to... Premier League rules, uh, but that's for this year because uh, Leeds is buying him at the end of this season. They were supposed to buy him this year, but they postponed it for an additional, I think, $3 million in the buyout clause. So I think it's 11 instead of $8 million or something like that. But anyway, 1-1 one, one draw. We took points. Taking a look at the stats for the game, uh, 12 shots, 7 on target. Uh, we had possession, about 50 more passes. We were equal with pass accuracy. And, you know, you're comparing this to a Man United squad. Man United, Man City squad, sorry. 
I, I don't think there was anything more we could have asked from the boys. They did really well. Uh, you can see uh, we're currently in fifth position. Uh, you know, we had the loss at Liverpool, a couple of wins, and then the draw today. Uh, Man City now on four points, still mid-table, and then uh, a game in hand, a couple of teams with a game in hand. And Villa must be playing tomorrow, and then they'll have a game in hand as well. I guess they'll make – some of these clubs will make up that match next week. Uh, Leeds doesn't play for two more weeks when we play Wolves. Uh, Wolves, where are they at? Oh, they're way – ooh, wow, back-to-back -back losses. So maybe – maybe it's not good giving them an extra week. But anyway, uh, taking a look at the lineups – Dallas had another stellar game. Cooper got beaten on one ball, and the captain does a great job for us. But that could be a spot that Urente could challenge for as the season progresses. Could be. Koch, as I mentioned, looks like he's coming into form. I like Ailing on the right wing, but I don't like him as part of the three-back set. They actually played a 3-5-2 today. And uh, he was the right side of the three-back set. Dallas had pushed up into midfield. And we're going to have to figure out how to keep Phillips involved. Because as I mentioned, Phillips was basically a non-factor for at least the first 25 minutes. I saw him make a couple of bad passes. Um, but he is an integral part of the team definitely one of if not the best player on the team probably not the best anymore with with the internationals coming aboard in Koch and uh Rodrigo but still one of and he needs to be a force in running that midfield and setting up our our attacks uh Costa looked pretty solid uh, again he showed a lot of pace some good ball handling Roberts Roberts is looking lost this year, and I definitely see that being a place that Rodrigo comes in for, or if they make another move before Monday's deadline uh, for somebody, that would be, you know, for a number 10, that would be a spot that we would see somebody else breaking into the starting 11. Klitsch did a good job today. Nothing spectacular. A couple of missed opportunities. Uh, but, uh, you know, but he was there. And Elioski, uh, you know, he did a job in the first half before coming off uh, for Harrison. Uh, it'll be good to have Harrison back in. So we played against this 4-3-3 tactic. Uh, we played against uh, two up top uh, last week against Fulham. And the two games before that were single strikers. So this 4-1-4-1 this is what we typically play against a single striker. And we convert over to the three-back set when we're playing two or three strikers. So, uh, you know, we I think what I take from this is we are showing, I mean, arguably at this point, four weeks in, we have played the two best teams in the Premier League, in Liverpool and Man City. And we've stood our ground with both clubs. You know, we certainly gave Liverpool all they wanted and more. I thought we were going to get blown off the pitch today. I was scared about that. A 1-1 draw. And we played well. We played hard. They had to earn everything they did. There were definitely some skill differentials. You definitely saw some ball handling by the likes of De Bruyne. Uh, just, uh, and Raheem Sterling, you know, his, his goal, the move he made on his goal was just gut wrenching to watch. Cause you were just like, yeah, we can't do that. Uh, Bamford did not score for the first time this season. Uh, I'm waiting for all the Bamford slaggers to come out, but he's got three and four. I think he's going to be fine. Uh, you know, he did have a really good chance today that he should have put away, his first chance, one I heard overheard one of the uh, other Leeds fans. He just had too much time to think on the breakaway. He had he had you know seven or eight dribbles to think about what he wanted to do, and we've seen last year compared to the first couple of games, if he just has to react, he's much better than if he has time to think about what he wants to do. 
And on that on that one on one again, he made really good decision with the ball, moved to the right place, and he could have probably just popped it over the keeper, and it would have been a relatively easy goal. You know, he had time to think about it. He kept it low and put it right into the keeper. So uh, that's going to happen. I'm not, you know, I'm not upset. Heck, I mean, my shirt is a Bamford shirt. I got Bamford's number on it this year. Uh, he was my favorite player last year, but I did get a Calvin Phillips shirt because last year was the first kit that I got, and it was the 100-year anniversary shirt. So I wanted Phillips on that one, but I did get Bamford this year. But, uh, hey, I am ecstatic I am ecstatic, uh, definitely looking at the table and happy with where we are at. Do I think we're going to end up in uh, in Europe, Europa League? No, I don't. I said, if we finish 17th or better, I'll be happy. And right now we are two full games clear of the relegate of the drop spots. I think we're in good shape for the early going. Long way to go, of course. Four matches in, and that means we have 34 matches left to play, I think. Anything could happen, but we're playing well. We're looking good. We're looking like we belong, and we're not looking outmatched or outclassed. And that, I think, is the big thing to take away from where Leeds United is at right now. Keep marching on together, boys. Thank you for checking this out. Remember, no video next week because we do not have a game, but we will be back for an RC review after the Wolves game in two weeks. Have a good one, guys. Bye.